Hey guys, I'm Veronica from Me Paintings and today I'm gonna be making a flip cup. From all these lovely colors I chose some nice shades of blue and also I will be putting a little bit of red and a little bit of purple in them. I want to show you what I did. My kids are watching some, some TV so you might hear them. I... Very ale ticho, yo? I mixed my, sorry, <laughs> I can't, I don't have time to paint, so I have to paint when they are watching TV, that's why you can hear them, but I, I hope you can hear me. I um, mixed my own pouring medium from this kind of glue, I use 60% of this glue and 40% of water, I mix it together and then I mix half part of acrylic colors and half part of pouring medium and that works quite well for me. I used to use a professional pouring medium but it was quite expensive and I was wasting quite a lot of it because I was doing loads of experiments and this was a cheaper option for me. I know some of you might be afraid to use glue because it might turn yellow. I know some glues can can turn yellow but this, I've got very good experience with this glue but I'm sure you can buy different brand in your country. You, you probably can't buy this brand in your country. This is from Czech. I also put one drop of silicone in each color. I bought this online in an art shop and this one is quite good. But I think it's the pouring medium what's causing my, uh, my cells. Because even if I don't put silicone in my colors I always get cells, which is good. I think it's it's the right mixture or right consistency of your colors and pouring medium that's the most important thing okay so you saw my colors and now we can start we can start pouring my colors into this cup i will be pouring my light colors first and then my dark colors and i will i'll be putting a little bit of red and purple in between them because i want an interesting mixture of colors and hopefully it will create something interesting and when it gets dry I will draw some 3d shapes into it and hopefully it will create an interesting like 3d effect I will show you everything and hopefully it will work okay let's start pouring my colors so first color will be white as you can see my colors are quite well actually this is too thick thick i think but i'll leave the white as it is but like the the rest of the colors are like this see something between thick and thin it's hard to say not too thin and not too thick <laughs> you know that's the most important thing to make the right mixture because if they are too thin, they will mix too much, and if you are too thick, they won't flow. So now, my blue color in here. All of it. Then a little bit of purple, just a little bit. my darker well this is kind of light teal i would say i love this color this is my favorite color i don't know why but it is my favorite color uh, some. well now let's put few drops of red into it now like that now the darker teal and some white dark blue quite a lot of it i like this blue i want loads of contrast in my painting a 
little bit more of this purple. Then maybe, well, white will go at the end. And this is the darkest blue which I have. I actually mixed dark blue and dark purple. And that's the color which I got from my mixture. And the rest will be white. White at the top. Okay, that should be okay. And now I'm gonna do flip cup. Hopefully it will be successful. Can you see that? Yep, you can. Knock, knock, knock. Should I make a hole in my cup? I'm not sure. I will try to make a hole in my cup. If I can, I probably can't. Ah, oh, that plastic is too, too thick. Oops. No, I've got hole and nothing happened. <laughs> Never mind. Well, you know what I'm gonna do first? I'm gonna cover these edges with my white. Look at that. It's growing. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Some nice shades. Loads of purple, although I put only a little bit of that purple in. But I'm sure it will create something nice and interesting. The bubble started to pop. Oh, I can hear the thunder. Okay, let's start moving it. Like this. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I can't check my video now, but I hope you can see that. Look at that. Looks like a space theme to me. Ooh. Nice shades, nice shades of blue and purple. Let's help these colors move down here.
Oh, look at that. That looks uh, that looks like some kind of galaxy pour. I like that. Wow. I love how this turned out. Should I keep it like this? I think I should. I like it how it is now. I just help these colors to spread down here. And soon I will be using my heat gun, so it will create some nice cells. I want to cover these edges, I'm just covering my edges, so it's all nice and beautiful. Okay, let's use my heat gun. I just need to wash my hands because I borrowed the heat gun from my father-in-law. He wouldn't like it to be dirty. I used to have a torch, which was quite good. It created small cells. The, the heat gun creates the bigger cells, but it's also nice. I'm, I'm testing the heat gun at the moment. Look at that, that's a pretty space theme painting. I love the mixture of colors, I love how it turned out. It will be my nebula painting. It was nice before I used the heat gun, but I wanted to create cells because I will be working with this painting a little bit more. I will be creating a 3D effect in it. But now I need to let it dry. And when it gets dry, I will show you what to do with this piece of art. Well, thank you very much for watching for now. And I'll be soon back. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. My painting is finally all dry. As you can see, I painted this nebula space theme. And now I'm gonna show you what to do with this. I'm gonna create a 3D effect, which will go deep into this nebula, beautiful nebula space theme. I already draw some circles around here. I'm not sure if you can see them just a little bit. First one, second one and third one. And I'll be drawing shapes all around. And hopefully it will create a beautiful 3D effect for my painting. Okay, I think that's all you need to know. And you can watch me how to do that. It's pretty easy, you just need some dark color, some good um, brushes. I think I'm gonna use this one. 
yeah this one probably or this one or this one <laughs> i'm not sure i have to try i'll see how that works and that's it oh i also have got some little i don't know sprays with water and some tissues and i might i i don't know if i'll be using this but i might use that for blending the color but i'm not sure i haven't tried this before this is the first time for me so wish me luck and watch me to do that No, that's not what I wanted. Look at that, look at the 3D effect, it looks like you are going inside, look at that. What? Well, thank you very much for watching, I hope I helped you to understand how to create such a thing and I hope I inspired you to create your own beautiful art. Thank you for very much for watching and if you liked my video please subscribe or find me on Instagram or just give it a thumbs up or down if you didn't like it. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye!